We are still not getting any missing four star. It still feels so bad though because this is the perfect time to release them but we still haven't got them yet. So for now, they might as well be never ever coming to Ian at this rate. We're getting Shop Tower this patch and the reward for reading each floor is fragment that can be exchanged for reward in the exchange tab of the Drop Tower. It's very easy to remember how much fragment you will get for bidding each floor because each floor all the way up to EX4 is increment of 100. So starting from floor 1 is 100 and go all the way up to EX4 and that will be 100 to 900. If you ignore the final reward for the final floor which is EX5, then the total fragment you have is 4500. 4,500 fragment is good enough to get you all the good reward which include the Arena Awakening Stone, one gold seal to pull for to class up a 4.5 star character to a 5 star, and one free pull. Job Tower will be refreshed every 4 weeks, where every 3 weeks it stays open and one week it will be closed down for maintenance. All the reward will be refreshed every single month with the exception of the 30% damage of accessory that can only be get one time from the tower only. And speaking about the accessory, the accessory can only be get if you beat EX5 because the fragment you get from the first floor to EX4 is not enough to get for the accessory. Therefore, the accessory can only be get if you beat EX5 because only EX5 can give enough fragment to exchange for it. Other than Drop Tower, we are also getting the Restore Power Finale Dispatch. Some personal comment for me. Restore Power is, for me, the weakest story ending when compared to the other Restore Finale. And the boss fight where you fight against Tatlock, it should not be harder than Restore of World. For me, Tatlock fight is easier than Oscar fight. Also, if you explore the sea carefully, you will find a cave tavern in the middle of the sea, in the middle of nowhere, and it's just that, it's just a tavern that is run by Kate. New story also means new weapon, and this time we are cycling back to attack, physical attack. So our weapon this time is Berserk weapon, which boosts physical attack when you enhance it. This also means that adamant weapon is now power creep, so when you want to make a weapon for your physical attacker, you make berserk weapon and not adamant weapon. We are also getting more floor for the main tower in the Tower of Trials, this time from floor 70 to 90, and they are harder than the earlier floor. Some player might struggle with beating the floor because of the difficulty increase, but we should have enough material from the EX floor to get the sword that faint get to you up to enhancement level 3. Although it looks like we're not gonna get to enhance the sword until we get to floor 100 anyway. And finally, we are getting TT Dispatch for our next unit, which I shall make a video on it later. And that's it for this update. The content we are getting for each update is diminishing now because we are slowly catching up to the JP version. But eventually, more interesting stuff is gonna happen when the store of all start. And that's it for this video. Goodbye.